we are uh, Camarilla, and um, it's an app for your closest friends, for your 15 best friends, actually. So, um, in a world where we are familiar with Facebook, WhatsApp, and messaging, uh, you can expect also that uh, there would be something for your best friends, uh, because those are the people who make you most happy. And uh, if you're happy, you're able to go uh, and live a great life. Uh, there's a little sentence that says, the good life is built with good relationships. Well, we all have a support group uh, that is called our inner circle. And these are uh, 15 people on an average that we carefully selected. Uh, people who we allow to be around us and who we tell our, uh, 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 our life experiences or who we uh, uh, just uh, have fun with uh, or sometimes have comfort with. Um, those people are unique people. It's a group of unique friends. There's no one in the world who shares the same people in his 15 uh, uh, group or in his inner circle. And a king knew this because a king uh, is always, always has a camarilla. Uh, in, in Spanish you say camarilla, uh, but we say camarilla. Um, a king has his camarilla for life. He shares his private life, his politi political life, and everything he wants to share with his people, he fully trusts. So therefore, the name, you can just find it in a dictionary. Uh, my name is Constance. Um, two years ago, I was a commercial director at Travelbird. It's an internet company, very fast-growing internet company in the Netherlands. And um, I just became mother of my beautiful son. This is my son, Hector. And I um, was traveling a lot. So he's, he's two years uh, old now. And I was traveling a lot, just became mom. And maybe there are some parents in the room and you experience the same. The, uh, the moment you are with your son or daughter, you just want to uh, uh, grasp every experience that he or she does and you take pictures, you capture these moments. Uh, so in a time, especially in the beginning, things go really fast. This little boy turns, it, it's by every day he's changing. And I was at a hotel room and um, I was missing my boy, but I was also missing my closest friends. And I just wanted to be home. And uh, at that time, I opened my Facebook account where I have a lot of friends uh, but I couldn't find my closest friends. Uh, and I thought that was pretty, well, odd that in this world where everything is digitalized, there's nothing there for just your comfort group or for your best friends. And uh, I would love at that time to share a photo where I was and just send it out and, and uh, my best friends to receive it. But it felt odd for me to text message them or to send a WhatsApp message and then every single one. So um, this idea, it was just a moment, uh, but this idea kept in my mind. And uh, when I was having dinners uh, with friends, I um, want sometimes the opportunity arise to speak out on uh, hey, how, do you, how are you doing? Uh, uh, What's, what's, what's going on with you? Why don't I see all what's, uh, what's happening in your life? Or uh, why did some people ask me, why did you stop sharing yeah, your private moments on Facebook? Well, it's just because the group went too big and I do share other stuff at Facebook. I still love this medium, especially for articles, especially for uh, things that really uh, uh, drive me, but not for my uh, photos in my bikini or not for my uh, baby pictures because I also know um, sometimes that 15, 50 photos from babies you uh, from a friend that you don't really know can be a little annoying. So I didn't want to bother all my friends with my all my baby pictures. Um, so I was having dinner and then there was a, a guy that I know and that I work with for 10 years and uh, he dives uh, a lot and he takes always his mother and his uh, best friends with him to the paradises of the world. And uh, this guy doesn't have Facebook and uh, I just asked him like, Hi, how is your life, this and that. And he was giving me his phone and showing all his pictures. I 
said, that's lovely, and it's, it's so interesting to see this and, and, and uh, that you're doing this. And we had this conversation, and he said, I, I asked him, do you feel the urge of, of, of sending uh, uh, photos, or what do you do normally? And uh, he had the same idea. He really would love to share his experiences with just a bunch of friends, a few friends. Um, we left this conversation. People were joining in on it, but we left it and we just had, uh, we continued with going on. So, of course, uh, my uh, job at Travelbird, which I really loved. And a few months later, I got a text message from this particular guy. His name is Chris Sade. Uh, he's a very successful entrepreneur. He's one of the uh, former directors of Bing Bank. Maybe you, uh, you might know the Bing Bank. And um, he text messaged me, he say, Constance, let's have lunch, uh, because I've got uh, somebody who's backing up financially. I was like, what is this guy speaking of? I, I, I didn't actually really reckon wh what he was talking about. But of course, this inspiring entrepreneur, I wanted to have lunch with him, so I went. And a day later, he told me, um, I've got it sorted out. I said, what? Well your idea of just sharing your life with your closest friends. I said, okay, well, tell me. So he, he spoke about the name, Camarilla, and he said, um, uh, with one hit on a button, you can share your photo. Your 15 closest friends will see this photo. And, um, but only now, the response will be one-on-one. -on -one. So nobody sees whoever is in your group and nobody sees their response. So you can actually respond like nobody is watching. This makes that you share or post, because it's, it's, it's a place we developed, uh, a little place uh, where you can post your photos and people can at their time watch these photos or respond to them. So um, in this place you, share, you post different photos. It's really funny because the audience is different. They know you. If you, if you are a, model f a motorcycle fanatic and you post a photo, they say, hey, you bought a new motor or uh, are, you, uh, are you saving money to get this, this one? Um, but for example, if I, um, uh, uh, if I post a photo of, of uh, when I'm at the beach uh, and I'm enjoying, my mom says, hey, I'm proud of you, enjoy. And my best friend asks, who is that, that handsome guy behind me? So those kind of things makes you share different stuff and makes you share uh, things that are really more private. Um, so actually, we, we, uh, we defined it that day. And we, we were uh, um, uh, together to uh, really to create this, uh, this place to post these photos for your 15 closest friends and where the responses are for your eyes only. And we gathered a team uh, of uh, a brilliant uh, CTO, uh, one of the CTOs from the Bing Bank and later on founder of Brand New Day. Uh, and together with some others, uh, with uh, um, uh, a team of five. And we developed a test uh, case, a pilot. And we were piloting it on iOS. And this happened in uh, December last year. And we thought of the Netherlands as the ideal test country. If it would work here, it will work everywhere. So we put it live uh, on, on, on uh, 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 the beginning of December. And within 24 hours, it spread in over uh, 34 countries. And that was amazing. We never expect this to spread so fast. Obviously, the momentum was right. People were uh, feeling that uh, they want to share Sometimes uh, something with one friend, and sometimes something with, uh, with a few friends, and sometimes with the whole world, or with your selected friends on, on, on uh, social media that you know nowadays. But, and we thought there will not uh, maybe be space for this, uh, or maybe people don't get it, but actually the people were really up for it. Uh, media was writing on it, uh, uh, articles over articles over articles, and it went viral uh, under the radar because we didn't have any articles in abroad yet. Um, so, uh, seeing this, there is a trend 
and we knew this, there is a trend to sharing life in smaller groups or sharing your interests in smaller groups. And uh, by the end of week one, we were spread in uh, 69 countries. And nowadays, we're being used very actively in over 100 countries worldwide. Only on iOS, so one brand. But for, um, well, the few of you here, we have a very exciting news because today, around four, we will put Android in beta. And that will be very exciting because, of course, uh, Android uh, supports many more devices and many more brands. Uh, so not only the iPhone lovers uh, can use Camarilla, but now everyone is allowed to or has access to use it. Um, so what's happening in this world? Well, uh, uh, Arno Lebrun already showed us. Um, things are shifting. We are shifting from uh, 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 images to videos to VR. Uh, we're creating world life e experiencing. It's much easier to share photos or to, uh, 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 to send them into particular groups. Maybe a group for colleagues, maybe a group for your best friends, maybe hey, uh, with, the, with the whole world. It's, uh, it's really a, a, a market that's evolving in, in such many directions. And, um, but also, the, marketing, uh, uh, the market is more personalized. So, uh, to tell you this little story about Camarilla, um, we went back to the core, to the fundament of, of, of true friendship. And you need time spent together to have true friendship. So uh, it, it's actually science. So uh, Professor Dunbar has shown that your inner circle is 15 people. But a prof this same professor also shown that you need quality st time spent together. Otherwise, your friends will be very unforgiving if you are in front of their doors and knocking, I need help. Um, the, and, and remember how good it feels when you see your friends' faces. Uh, uh, the moment when you see a friend's face, who is really, truly a friend, um, all the uh, memories of your time spent together are flushing in your head, and it will release endorphins. Uh, so therefore, most of the times, if you see your best friend, you probably will already have a smile on your face, because it's, it's this endorphin, it's the, uh, the chemistry that's working in your brain. Um, and therefore, these are the people who make you most happy and proud in life. So what we did is that we thought there is a space that we go back to the fundamentals and we go back to the core. And you see also this is happening in marketing. Uh, things are becoming much more personalized. And uh, we are only exploring how personalized things will, can become. Uh, we're working with bots, of course. Uh, where uh, people are uh, uh, creating a, a lifelike experience. I think that Facebook is in, in such a direction that will be so interesting. And um, uh, imagine in your messenger that you get uh, uh, your following CNN and every day you use this messenger, the digest of CNN will get more personalized and you will already get the stuff immediately. Well, this is what they are exploring. Uh, we are not yet on this on this trend uh, because we are not looking to monetize our platform yet. We have uh, a lot of time uh, that we can just explore to develop this product as great as possible and uh, to continue to keep this as simple as possible, uh, uh, but also just uh, to uh, uh, keep that the people are using this platform the way we intended them to use, and that's what we see nowadays. But... Eh, if you imagine that once we will monetize our platform, some people say, yeah, you will be doing this in advertisement or you will be doing this uh, with selling data. I think we can only underestimate how the market will evolve in the coming five years. If you look back to five years from now, we didn't expect that we will, would be talking about VR, mobile VR, VR or all these bots that are coming to the market. So let's just wait and let's just really uh, discover where it will take us. But we do follow the great examples of Facebook, of Messenger, of WhatsApp. We do follow uh, WeChat. In China, everybody is already used to paying with their WeChat account in restaurants. They're 
ordering cinema tickets with their WeChat accounts. They're ordering uh, 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 taxis or doctor's appointments. Everything is so personalized in their stream. So um, I think the most important is engagement and attention and uh, how we will uh, uh, evolve in, uh, uh, in, in providing this uh, great attention and engagement with our users because they see their best friends in this environment. Uh, probably you, on the other hand, will uh, see how engaged you will uh, uh, get your audience with this, uh, 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 well, more uh, eloquent uh, marketing tools that are are coming to the market and are already there. Oh. So this is a little view on um, how the world's smallest uh, social network is spreading under the radar. Um, and we will only launch officially in September. But of course, uh, the test launch in the Netherlands made us really proud. And uh, Android will give us even more insight on, on, on uh, how fast things will go and, and that we do uh, in this digital world where we have so many people and so many connections that we still uh, have these great values and that uh, science uh, or technology didn't change our world uh, as much because still we uh, do relate to uh, uh, some people as our best friends and the people we met, meet in bars, etc. Only time will tell you if they will become a best friend, because still you need to see each other and you need to have a quality time spent together. Um, so uh, uh, this is uh, a little uh, story for you guys to see uh, how things are evolving in smaller groups. Thank you. <laughs>